Hello, and welcome to episode five of the Big Data MBA video educational series. Episode five is gonna be how to win the data science wars. And I'm gonna walk through the supporting infographic about how to do this. So we're gonna start by going to the middle of this war, this infographic and talk about how do you win? Well, if we take a lesson from Sun Tzu in the, in the, book, the, Art of, the book, The Art of War, he states the victorious warriors win first and then go to war, while defeated warriors go to war first and then seek. That's exactly our approach from a data science perspective. We want to do all the necessary pre-work before we ever put science to the data. There's a lot of work that has to happen. There's nothing magic here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start here with the lower left-hand side of the infographic and just describe about data science is a, is a very hard um, discipline requires lots of exper experience and expertise and working with data and trying an endless number of different analytic transformations and enrichment techniques and algorithms and attempt to find those combinations of variables and metrics that might yield a better predictor of performance. And it's that word might that gives us trouble because we're never quite certain when, when is good enough, good enough, of course, unless we know the cost of the false positive and false negative, something we'll talk about in more detail in a future episode. But the key I want to drive here is that since data science takes a lot of work, there's a lot of exploration that needs to take place, we want to do as much as possible to sort of box in what we have to do. And knowing what you don't have to do is almost as important as knowing what you have to do. So we're going to do lots of pre-work to make certain that we are successful with our data science. And so the key going up to the upper left-hand side here of the infographic, the key is all the pre-work we're going to do by collaborating with our key stakeholders, subject matter experts to define the requirements for the success, understand how they're gonna use them. So we make certain that before we ever put science to the data, we know exactly what we wanna do, right? And it also gets back to this point that data science isn't done only by data scientists. Data science is a team sport and it's a participation sport. It requires the close collaboration between the data science team, which includes data scientists and data engineers and ML engineers and design thinkers and all kinds of other sides of the data science technical side, but it includes key collaboration with the business stakeholders who understand the problem you're trying to solve and know what information we need to provide when and how in order to be successful. If we slide over to the right-hand side of the um, infographic here. What we want to do is we first want to discuss the process we're going to go through, which is at the bottom here. We start our data science work. Again, before we actually put science to the data, we run through an envisioning exercise to help identify and prioritize what are the key use cases, right? We want to identify, validate, value, and prioritize the use cases because organizations don't fail because of lack of use cases. They fail because they have too many use cases. And so we want to make sure we have a really crisp, clear understanding of the use case we're going to go after. We want to know the metrics and the variables against which we're going to measure progress and success. We want to know the key decisions we have to make. We want to know the stakeholders are going to make the decisions. We want to know the analytic assets around which we're going to have to build, the analytics. We're going to want to identify some of the potential data sources we want to go after. And we want to start to codify the cost of false positive and false negatives. The second phase here is to validate that. Now, in the validate stage, we really want to start putting science to the data. We want to prove through an ROI we can actually provide value, which takes us into the create phase, right? So we do the validation of the ROI while we're starting to build out the actual data science work. And the data science work really starts to occur in that third phase, the create phase. Once we've built something that is successful as defined by our subject matter experts, our stakeholders, once we've done that and it satisfies the needs around false positive and false negatives, now we're ready to actually deploy and optimize and operationalize this. And the upper part of the screen here shows the, the key deliverables that we're going to create as part of this exercise. We're going to build personas for each of our different stakeholders so we know their roles, responsibilities, expectations, and how they measure success. We're going to provide very high level of detail on each of the use cases from a business perspective. We're going to go through a process to assess and validate the value and implementation feasibility of each of the data sources, right? And then finally, we want to use, not finally, we we're going to use a prioritization matrix to drive organizational alignment, to take all the different use cases and bring together our different stakeholders 
to go through that process of prioritizing use cases. And you'll find as you go through this process, the prioritization matrix is your best friend because it's going to help you to drive organizational alignment. And then the last point is a hypothesis development canvas. We're going to spend an entire session on the hypothesis development canvas because it, it is the roadmap. It is the vehicle that joins the subject matter experts and the data science team together to make sure we are building something that's useful. So that's the end of episode five and how to win the data science wars. How do you win the data science war? Well, like Chris Rock says, right? There is no sex in the champagne room. There is no magic in data science, folks. It takes a lot of hard work and we're gonna do a lot of that hard work before we ever put science to the data. Thank you.